Throughout the years of the project's existence, the corals have had a pretty normal growth in relatively optimal conditions. For the first time since we started the project, we've witnessed the El Nino phenomenon, and the highest recorded water temperature peaked at 32.8 degrees Celsius. While the initial idea was to propagate coral nubbins that we thought would possess the resistance genes which would hopefully withstand future El Ninos, the truth was that there wasn't any sort of guarantee that they would perform as expected. On avait fait une sélection de boutures dans le nord. On se disait que vu que nos boutures allaient avoir le même matériel génétique que que le site d'honneur, allaient potentiellement survivre au prochain El Niño. Les hausses de température qu'on a eues en début d'année a fait que notre site d'honneur a blanchi. Mais euh, nos boutures qu'on avait mises sur euh, nos sites, qui étaient un peu plus profonds que le site d'honneur, ont survécu. Donc euh, sur les 800 boutures qu'on avait plantées, seulement deux d'entre elles ont partiellement blanchi. In Ben's garden, at 6 meters deep, with relatively cooler water, we propagated mainly Acropora austeris with the same genetic inheritance as those from the donor's site. We found out that only two out of 800 colonies propagated have bleached. Could this site be a small scale example of the deep reef refugia hypothesis? In any case, it gives us hope. It gives us hope and it restored the interest we had in the project's existence to re-propagate and give back to nature what it's due.